have you ever heard like a little voice in your head saying something to you? Like, it's my... happening to you? Yes! <laughs> It's called the still small voice. Mm -hmm. talk about Japanese religion okay <laughs> what's the main religion that you have in Japan in Japan usually we have um, the main big religion is Shintoism and the Buddhism okay Shintoism and Buddhism what does that focus on Shintoism yeah Shintoism is indigenous religion mm -hmm. we had Shintoism before Buddhism coming okay so it's our own original religion so okay Okay, and in Shintoism and Buddhism, what's the main thing that you practice? In today's Japan, yes. Um, Buddhism is usually we visit temple for funerals and pray for ancestors. Okay. For, for example, in my grandparents' house, they have a small Buddhist temple in the house. Okay. And uh, when we pray in front of that temple, it means that we pray for our ancestor. We're taught that you have to pray to God, but then you have to go through Jesus Christ, mm. who we're told is the Son of God. Mm. So like we pray, we say, dear, dear Lord, blah, 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 mm. blah. And then we say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, mm. amen. Mm. So like when you pray, like in Shinto mm. or Buddh Buddhism, mm. like what do you do? Like who do you pray to? Uh, usually for Buddhist temple, we don't pray for good God. And okay. Also, I, maybe you know that the Buddhism is not uh, about uh, God. Even Buddha is not a God. Mm -hmm. He was enlightened, and uh, maybe people who practice Buddhism okay. they can be enlightened. So that's why we are not playing for God in front of a temple. Okay. But uh, in Japan, we usually connected to the um, funerals are held at the. Uh, uh, temple yes and also cemetery is lo usually located in Buddhist temple okay so we usually think about the ancestor in front of the temp small temple inside the house ah so when you go to like a temple you're focusing on like your ancestors yeah, your yeah, grandmother yeah. your mm -hmm. grandfather and so why is it so important to Japanese people mm -hmm. to connect to or to talk with the ancestors oh usually we are thinking that maybe you know that uh, there's an obon festival during summer yes it's uh, one of the most important uh, holidays mm -hmm. and we believe that in that time uh, the ancestor is coming back to the well, this world okay <laughs> to see us okay so it means that the, our soul is uh, after we did also our soul exists so like we feeling that uh, like when praying in front of a Buddhist small temple in, and they are singing us, the ancestors singing us yes. and they, maybe they care about us and protecting us. Ah, so mm. you think that when you remember them and you talk with them that they will protect you? Mm. Like, yeah, we feel that the, their soul still remains. <laughs> Okay, it's interesting that you said that because you also said that after you die, you believe that your soul still exists, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's very, like, we have a, such, such kind of feeling. Uh huh. So that's why sometimes I'm really scared to what? visit a place some people get suicide ah. because maybe some spirits remain that place. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah, oh. like, I feeling that way okay so the japanese people you you actually believe in like spirits maybe many people feel that way mm. maybe for example once i intend i just have famous bridge mm. for a suicide really in many, sendai yeah like know? many people no, i don't know tell me about it yagiyama bridge actually the name is yagiyama bridge it's that bridge maybe many 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 people jumped from the bridge oh no and then once i'm with my japanese friend and one man from a uh, kids from uh, Belarus. Mm -hmm. and when we talk about that bridge he said that he wants to go that place but uh, i and my friend refused that 
because we feel really scared. Yes. Because uh, if I'm busy there, maybe some uh, because especially people who commit suicide, yes, have uh, some feeling of regret or anger. Yeah. So that's why maybe some spirits remain at the place. Okay. Maybe some. We visit here. Maybe they going to follow us. Something like that. That's that's, that's that. like. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's like in Jamaica, we're afraid of what we call doppies <laughs> or even like demons. So, so there is that recognition of the spiritual world in mm. Japan. So, other than the ancestors, like what else do you do to cover yourself? And by covering, I mean to protect yourself so that evil spirits and and those things don't affect you. We, we usually, I don't have, a, for example, once. When I was uh, a long time ago, I had a friend from uh, Italy, mm -hmm. and he said that the, he asked, I have a religion, and I said no. Mm -hmm. And he said that then what he going to believe when I'm had a, I have a hard time? Yes. So also, it's a very difficult uh, question because when I had time, I usually don't pray for God. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> only myself <laughs> uh, but that's a very good question mm. because for me like sometimes I go through some hard times mm. and if I can't pray like if I don't believe like there is a supreme being mm. who loves me mm. and cares for me and mm. has a plan for my mm. life there is this Bible verse that says mm. for I know the plans that I have for you mm. plans to prosper you and not to harm you mm. plans to give you hope and a good future mm. and sometimes I get depressed and I'm like oh god I'm not sure what ha what is happening in my life mm. sometimes I feel like I failed at something mm. that I want to do and I remember something that is said and I'm encouraged like, have you ever heard about like the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit yeah mm. no no so the holy spirit mm. is like god's spirit and it's it's that spirit that is everywhere mm. and like when you start to have a relationship with god mm. it comes and it it lives inside of us mm. so you don't have to go anywhere to get it mm. like you don't have to you don't have to go to like a temple or like a shrine mm. per se to get it it's something that is in you it comes and it dwells in you and like if you're crying it comforts you yeah and like sometimes there is that small voice like have you ever heard like a little voice in your head saying something to you like it's my... happening to you yes! <laughs> the still small voice mm -hmm. and it, it's a it's a it's this little voice that leads you that says hey my don't go there go over <laughs> here never you've never experienced it <laughs> i have experienced it before and it's one of the most beautiful things that i've ever experienced mm -hmm. and in hard times like that's what comforts me sometimes when I think about the God, mm. I think for Japanese people it's more the Shinto shrine. Yeah. Because most of the Shinto shrine have a God. Mm. You know that in Shintoism is we have many many gods. Yes. Not only one God. So some shrine is dedicated a God for dedicated, for example, study. Yes. Sometimes so victory. Mm -hmm. Sometimes for business. Yes. So some people who have, a, for example, some have hoping for some successful business mm -hmm. maybe we visit a uh, shrine for dedicated for business i see mm, but uh, i see mm, but uh, usually it's not happening inside of me <laughs> yeah well i think that inside it's it's different because you don't have to to go to get it it's mm -hmm. it's in you and it's like sometimes like mm -hmm. if i'm praying about something and i'm not sure mm -hmm. and i want an answer mm -hmm. like i'll pray about it and i'm like lord i'm not sure what am i supposed to do and then sometimes like while i'm washing dishes mm -hmm. or even sometimes i'm riding on my bicycle mm -hmm. and then i will just it's like an enlightened moment <laughs> <laughs> and i will be given the answer to what I want to know and I think for me that's one of the most beautiful things about my faith and my experience it's it's inside but sometimes I forget that it's inside and sometimes I feel 
alone <laughs> like I'm just by myself especially like now in Japan there are times when I felt alone and I have had to be reminded what would you want people to understand about like Japanese beliefs for example I think uh, personally I'm not so religious uh, mm. person and I, I think many majority of Japanese people are not so religious. Yes. But uh, because uh, we usually, maybe, for example, my grandparents' house, they have a Shinto shrine in the house, yes. also Buddhist uh, temple in the yes. house. Like we don't care about any particular religion usually. Yes. Like we can visit shrine or so we can visit the temple also. So we don't just think that like we have any particular religion, but there are many influence to what we, how we think yes. from a religion. For example, um, Shintoism. I think personally I'm not religious, but I feel that the way of thinking is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then both for Buddhism and uh, Shintoism. For example, uh, Shintoism is, uh, we worship a lot for nature. Mm -hmm. If you visit the mountain or waterfall, you can see that some it shows that it's very sacred place. That the rope of Shintoism. Yes. So it means that uh, we worship nature, and then um, the idea is that uh, oh, I I read that originally we uh, worship nature. Yes. But because we have a lot of natural disaster, so that's why. The nature is something that we can't uh, conquer. Right. And when big disaster happen, that we can't resist the it. Yes. So I think it's more beautiful than to, to try to control the nature. Okay. Mm. And also, uh, the idea of uh, Buddhism, for example, um, like in Buddhism also maybe we we think that. Uh, it's we are a part of nature. Uh, so that uh, that kind the like people that for example human is not special. So there are many things happening, but it's only we are small and we are part of it. Right. I think it, I like that kind of idea. The concept of oneness. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I get that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, thank you so much, Mai, for talking with me today. Thank you. All right, bye-bye.